Hey everybody, welcome back to a North Texas Weather Center forecast, and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for both tomorrow and as well as Sunday across the central and northern plains. We have the latest on the severe weather potential in terms of timing, threats to expect, and everything that you know ahead of the storms. Let's get right into it. So as of right now, there's only a marginal threat of severe weather for tomorrow across areas like Missouri as well as far northeastern Kansas. That does include Kansas City, by the way, Iowa, eastern and northern Nebraska, into South Dakota. Now we're really going to focus on this area here, but the main threats can be damaged winds maybe a little bit of large hail and also an isolated tornado threat will exist with a storm or two and again this is going to be a bit of a low-end threat but it might get upgraded to a slight risk by tomorrow so just keep that in mind as of right now there is a low-end tornado threat basically in these four corners here so southwestern iowa going to southeastern nebraska northeastern kansas and as well as far northwestern missouri has a very low-end chance for maybe a low-end tornado threat tomorrow evening let's take a look at the setup in terms of the system we're gonna have a lot of moisture coming out of the gulf of mexico along with this that is what's going to fuel all of the storms again moisture as high as the mid to upper 70s in terms of dew points across eastern kansas plenty of moisture for some severe weather now it's not prime for tornado activity but we very well could see maybe an isolated tornado here's a look at the tornado parameter as well as you can see there are values between two to five there's actually as high as six but uh, i don't expect a tornado threat to be that significant due to the setup that we have vertical shear not going to be nearly as strong at, for at least some sort of tornado threat here's a look at the instability as of right now as well for tomorrow instability values where the storms will develop by the way uh is going to be fairly high we're looking at a lot of instability with these storms but again instability is going to lower as we head into early sunday which should help to limit how far south these storms do go Here's a look at the future radar for Iowa. Again, 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon near Fort Dodge and Denison. Those areas will start to see some storms popping up. Again, large hail, definitely a threat with these. You can see this is going to be probably our biggest and possibly worst storm that we'll see. Possibly, there is going to be a potential for very large hail tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. Again, that's to the south of Fort Dodge, moving uh, down to the south through southern Iowa. Eventually, by 8 to 9 o'clock, all of those storms should be over into northern Missouri as well as northern Kansas. Here's a look at the future radar for those in uh, Missouri as well as Kansas. You can see by 9 o'clock, basically a cluster of storms all across St. Joseph. All all the way over to Quincy eventually by about 10 to 11 those storms are moving through Kansas City and Columbia eventually by midnight to one in the morning those storms will move south and eventually start to weaken out as they move toward Rolla so uh, we may go live by the way for that event just keep that in mind um here on our YouTube channel also there's another risk for severe weather heading into Sunday there's currently a slight risk for severe weather for portions of Nebraska and as well as into really not far northern Kansas but northern and central Kansas is in a marginal threat for severe weather my main concerns as of right now will just be damaging winds and very large hail I don't really expect much of a tornado threat with this particular system but that may change we'll have to see what happens here over the next 24 to 48 hours here's a look at the future radar for nebraska as well as southern portions of south dakota by six to seven o'clock we have a few storms down in kansas we'll get to those in just a second uh, a few over to the west and western portions of nebraska as well as far southwestern south dakota by eight to nine o'clock those storms are really moving through rural areas of nebraska and eventually by 10 to 11 o'clock those storms start to fizzle out so storms overall probably just gonna have some damaging winds maybe some isolated large hail going into sunday or excuse me for sunday in kansas as of right now we're looking at Colby for some storms around 6 to 8 o'clock. Eventually, these storms will move off to the east. These might go as far east as potentially Salina. So those areas definitely going to be the track for those storms. They should fizzle out before getting to Manhattan. But if they do, again, damaging winds possible and maybe a little bit of isolated large hail. Make sure to stay updated with the latest here on North Texas Weather Center. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button as well. This broadcast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting. All dense repair in Patriot safe rooms.